Good day everyone. Welcome to Annie's Cooking on YouTube. Um, this is all new to me so I will try my best to explain everything. And my style of cooking is season everything and make everything as tasty and easy as possible. So today we have some flour. I'll put every, the recipe down below and we're just needing some flour. I use cooking salt, baking powder in my flour and this basic flour you can make dal puri, parata, bakes, potato pies, fish pies. You can make basically everything with this one dough. Mother taught me the mark of a good roti when you need it. It has to be smooth and the sides of your bowl has to be clean. I always add some oil to finish in the smoothening process. It's a nice soft dough, it's not too hard. When you're making dumplings, you need a firmer dough. But for anything, roti, fry bake, potato pies, I like my dough soft. And the cooking helps it, especially in pies and bakes, to give it a nice flaky texture. Based on the size of your tower, that's the size of loy you will make. And it also depends if you like your roti fat, if you like it thin. I'm just cooking for two persons, so I may make a regular size one and this little tiny one. So this may give you three, as I said, if you like your roti thick or thin, three nice size thickish roti based on your tower. So I had a phone call, but as you can see, my roti, I always put a little oil so it will remain so, but I put coconut oil today, so it's like really smoking. And I had a phone call, sorry about that. So my roti is nice and oh, so very hot. So it's not too thick and not too thin.
So the high smoking point is because of the fact that you use coconut oil, but the little bit of coconut oil helps the roti keep very soft. And the cooking that is in it as well. Ouch. I like the little blue cards, it tastes so good with food. 